There is a native doctor in your home. Who is a native doctor? I'm not aware. There is a native doctor in your family. Where do you come from? Don't give it up time, please. I don't say it's from Isha. Eh? Isha. You know Ogu? Yes, sir. Who worship this Ogu? I this is Oloku. I am seeing Oloku, and this is called a rock. I was born with a gay birth in Isha. I might not know. You know Ashawo? My people, before you continue listening to this native doctor called Jeremiah Omoto for fame, who is assumably hunting another native doctor who does not exist, let's just agree on this one thing, that all Nigerian prophets are Yahoo boys. All Nigerian prophets cannot hear anything, cannot see anything. Everyone they prophesy to is a hired actor. This is an extreme case of a prophetic gimmick gone wrong. Watch. If you talk anyhow, I will expose that person. You know a shower? Tell me! No, sir. Yes, sir. I'm asking you. Yes, sir. You know a shower? Yes, sir. Be careful. Yes, sir. Be what? Careful. Shower. Be careful. If I talk to you, you don't answer me, I will give you something that will make you to know that there is a prophet. Be careful. Let us pray. Let us pray for a marriage. Let us pray for a good marriage. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. There was a man who was with you. Yes, sir. This man disappointed you. Yes, sir. You swear to the man. Yes. You know that I'm a, I, I'm a king of prophecy. I have to tell you what you want. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. So, this young girl, let, her, let us pray for her. So that let the spirit of moving around and suffering from husband begin to disappear. A man is standing beside you. And this man, he promised to not marry you. Answer me. Yes, sir. God is going to help this one. Come here. Where is the man? Where is the man? Where is the man? He's not here. Sir. Where is he now? Where is the man? I'm asking you, where is the man? He's in Bini. He's in uh, uh, anywhere in abroad. Where is the man? Huh? Come on. Don't go and do a shower again. Let the spirit of prost prostitution disappear in your life. Jesus Christ. This is an extreme case of a prophetic gimmick that has gone wrong. Way offside. My people, I call this prophetic abuse. And I've told you before, these men can't see nothing. Any prophecy they give, it's information that they would have gathered. Or anyone they prophesied to in their shrines is someone that they would have coached paid money to act. They don't see nothing. They don't hear nothing. I want us to analyze this one very quickly. Let's start here. There is a native doctor in your home. Who is a native doctor? I'm not aware. There is a native doctor in your family. First, ask yourself a question. Why is Jeremy, why is Jeremy pulling this lady's trousers? is he is asking about a native doctor. Jeremiah is a native doctor. The fact that he is witch hunting another native doctor already makes this whole thing dubious. There is a native doctor in your home. Who is a native doctor? I'm not aware. There is a native doctor in your family. This was Jeremiah Omoto reminding her to play along with the script. But this lady was unaware. She was oblivious. Of whatever that is going on. Why was she oblivious? Jeremiah Omoto picked the wrong lady. Remember before he goes on the pulpit. He's given a list of actors. That he should call upon. To prophesy into their lives. This particular lady was wearing the exact same outfit. As the actor that Jeremiah Omoto for fame was supposed to call. To the front. Accidentally he picked the wrong one. The actor remained in the auditorium. 
<laughs> when God wants to expose shenanigans, he works in mysterious ways. So this lady absolutely knows nothing about what is going on. Watch again. If you talk any, I will expose that person. You know, I shower. Tell me. No, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. I'm asking you. Yes, sir. You know, I shower. Yes, sir. Be careful. Yes, sir. Be what? Careful. Shower. If you pay close attention, you realize that Jeremiah Omoto's hype men, those ones that will be saying, yes, papa, papa, go deeper, the ones holding the mic, had to whisper to the lady to play along, to flow with the crews. Say yes. She had to admit that she knows a shower. You know a shower? Tell me. No, sir. Yes, sir. I'm asking you. Yes, sir. You know I shall. Yes, sir. Be careful. How did Jeremiah Omoto get angry? Do you know I shall? <laughs> Do you see how he spin the whole prophecy? Now it's a personal attack on the lady because she's not pay, you know, playing along. He got disgruntled to a point where by head to now make people believe that he is the king of prophecy. You are no king of prophecy, brother. You are a king of RNG. You arrange these things. You see nothing, nothing at all. Keep watching. A man is standing beside you. And this man, he promised to not marry you. Answer me. Yes, sir. God is going to help this one. Come here. Where is the man? Where is the man? Where is the man? He's not here, sir. Where is he now? Where is the man? I'm asking you, where is the man? He's in Benin. He's in uh, uh, anywhere in abroad. Where is the man? Huh? Come on. Don't go and do a shower again. Everything Jeremiah Omoto for fame is trying to force on this woman. It's not working. Because she is not the actor that he was supposed to pick. My people. You keep going to these shrines for what exactly? Tell me. Give me a reason. You love prophecy. What do you want to know about your life that is so important to a point whereby you have to subject, to keep subjecting yourself to this kind of abuse? There is nothing that they know about your future. There is nothing that they know about the prospects of your upcomings. Nothing. They know nothing, my people. Nothing, nothing, nothing. But... I know I'm dealing with Mugus and you keep going to these shrines because you love prophecy so much. You love miracles so much. You'll be victims forever. And I don't feel sorry for these people anymore. Actually, I make fun out of them. I enjoy seeing them being taken for granted like this. It's a native doctor dealing with the Mugu. And these are the very same Mugus that will be in the comments saying, touch not the anointed. Jeremiah Omoto for fame anointed. Nigerian prophets anointed, Ghanaian prophets anointed, African prophets anointed. Anointed by who? Who could have anointed these imposters, these low-key criminals, low-lifers, elements of darkness, principalities, thieves, wolves, <laughs> sheep's clothing? <laughs> we have touched them non-stop. The anointing, we have been scratching the anointing since I don't know when. But we are still here. Do my prophets know harm? These ones are not the ones that we're being referred to. These are just Draculas. Yahoo, 419s. If this pains you, what I'm saying, go and eat stones. Go and hug a transformer. And get well soon. Because I know, I still have hope that one day you come back to your senses and you divorce all these evil occultic shrines. Prophecy this, prophecy that. I beg, get out. <laughs>